First, I want to say thank you all for those who <laughs> comment on last week uh, about children and their lack of tidiness um, and their lack of cleanliness. Because, um, yeah, if you look at my house right now, <laughs> it's a mess, like toys. As a mom, you know, you, you got to be an investigator sometime and figure out what in the world is going on with your kids because because they won't tell you so sometimes you just gotta use your investigation skills your detective skills and figure out what's going on so the other day buddy was in the bathroom the kids sometimes when they go to the bathroom they don't close the door for some reason they want the whole world to see what they're doing in the bathroom so when you walk by you just see them kind of taking care of the business sometimes it means the door is open it's free game for anybody to come in and see what's going on. Now that we have a one-year-old that's walking, she was in there, I guess he was trying to get her out of there. By the time I walked into the bathroom, he was standing there with his pants half off, like he was finished and he was trying to pull his pants up. There was pee in the t toilet and Ellie was standing in something, some liquid, I should say. She's, she don't have any shoes on. And I'm like, buddy, what is that on the floor? And he just looks at me like, that's not an answer. Is it pee? And I'm like, is it pee, buddy? Is it pee on the floor? I was trying to close the door on Ellie and she keep on opening it. Is it pee on the floor? Yes, ma'am. So how did pee get on the floor? You know that movie Inside Out where the little girl has these people behind the dashboard and there's angry and there's joy and there's sadness and all these little people running her brain? Well, we have this joke sometimes when we get the deer and the headlights look like their lights are on, but there's nobody behind the desk. I got that kind of look from him like, is anybody really in there? It wasn't like on the side of the toilet or anything like that. It was like over here by the sink. To this day, I don't know how his pee got on the floor. I, I mean, granted, I know how the pee got on the floor. I'm not asking that. What do you guys think happened? I don't know. So I was trying to do a braid out and um, it was really cute this morning. But by the time I got outside, it's so humid that it just kind of turned into a big puff. Not to say that it's not cute. My hair looks better on camera <laughs> than it does in real life. <laughs> like when I was in the bathroom, I was like, oh man, oh well. But I'm looking at it right here on the, the, the um, viewfinder. I'm sitting here like, ooh. It's still cute. It's still cute. I, I ain't look that bad. I don't look that bad. Let's jump into the scripture of the week. The scripture of the week. The scripture of the week. Today we're, fin we're, finishing, we're finishing how we love Jesus and God. So let's think that right now and let's get no. started. I really love the love.
got it in six days. I did it! You didn't say the scripture yet, buddy. Oh. Psalms. Psalms 100. Psalms 116. I, I love the Lord because He hears my voice and, and my prayers for mercy. God loves us when He loves us so much when we are. We, when we are getting on our knees to pray, pray to him, and then he gives us mercy and he answers the prayer. How can he hear you when he's way up in heaven? Oh, he uh, can hear us probably no. because he has speaker. Probably because he has probably because he has speakers, and he's hearing us. God can hear us from heaven, not all the way through heaven. So our prayers only reach heaven. Our prayers, our prayers does reach heaven. Oh, because God, God is yeah. right there when you're praying. Where? He's right there standing in your bed. That's Jesus standing right there, and He hears you. God Where's Jesus? He's in my room. Jesus is in your room. Nobody's praying in it. I see Jesus right there. Jesus right here. Uh, no, he ain't here in my room. Yes, he is. Jesus right there. Question: Do you think God and Jesus, God or Jesus, has phones? I can hear you. I have to answer you after you see the video. God, oh. Jesus can't walk without phones, or God can't walk without phones. All oh, right. God can't walk without bones. He'll be slushing all over the floor. Okay. If you like these videos and think they are encouraging, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button on it. Um, we really do appreciate it. It does help our channel out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, you can go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss another minute if you guys like it. This hair racket. Racket? What's racket? I don't know. This hair cricket. I don't know how how to do it. You know, mess that dog's hair when you do it. Put all that product in there. How do we fix it? I, I don't know. You can't comb that stuff. Why? Because it's too producty? No, it's too tangled. Uh, you can comb it to untangle it. That's what you can do. <laughs> Did you drink some silly juice? What you laughing about? <laughs> What's funny? You gonna put Spider-Man gloves on your feet? <laughs> I mean, realistically, what can I possibly do to this dog head? You're the hair guru. You should know. I'm not the hair guru. I'm real people's hair. This is not real hair. It's super tangled. So you saying she got weed? So what do you want me to do to it? Cut the rubber bands out. Oh, now that you got the hair bows off, what you gonna do with this doll? Her hair still in the Mama? Don't pull her hair! This. Now put it up then. Your doll hair. Remember, you put Buddy's hair in a bun so you can put her hair in a bun. Uh, that's a girl bun. <laughs> that's a girl bun. Making a bun. I'm tired. We're not making noise. This is a bun thing. Daddy? Oh. You help me with this, Mama? You got it. No. <laughs> you can do buns. Babe, hey, that's your dog. I mean, you gotta do your baby's hair. I don't like my mom to do y'all hair. Y'all see that yet? Mm-mm. Not a year. You want to be loved by anyone.
Don't judge me. We're on our way to go get Jay's phone fixed. His battery has been very my battery sucky. Sucked. Yeah. Let me tell you what happens with my battery. So, I charge my battery in my phone for like two hours. And I get on my phone for like 10 minutes. And it's down to first, like 65%. You keep on talking. Goes on down. Mess around and try to open some social media or something while you're on your phone. This is all within a 15 minute span. Phone shuts down completely. I open the phone back up. It says 10%. Been dealing with that for some time now. And uh, it's very... Uh, and insurance is not, is not covered in your insurance. No. Oh. We also have the no... What's the new rule since they, they passed in, Jan in July? You Hands free. You cannot touch your can't phone. Can't be on your phone while you're you driving. Phone. So for the state of Georgia, you're not allowed to be on your phone. It has to be. It's other. I mean, they just states. made it official. Official for us. But I know some other states. They also had. Uh, if they're doing it in your state, comment below. But are you happy to finally be leaving the house now? What do you say? Are you happy to leave the house? You not. You want to go back home? You've been asking me to go somewhere, now you're finally going somewhere. You're not happy? Outside is not great. Inside is great. He said outside is not great. Inside is great. You can't please him. In this weather, he, he will get... They all mad at me because they ready to, get, no. to go and get out of the house and do something fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Here. Okay, cool. Me too. I love to do some fun stuff too. And not work. So 